Yo, 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 yo. It's your boy, Jonathan R. Whitfield, once again, coming back at you with another video. I know it's been a minute. It's about three weeks since the last video. But I be busy, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I want to thank everybody for the shout-outs, birthday wishes, and stuff like that. All the love y'all showing. All the questions in the engagement. I like, I like, I be reading, I be reading the comments. As you can see, I be responding and stuff like that. I'm in the library right now. That's why I'm looking around, you know, see who up in my face. You know what I'm saying? But uh, today's video, I, I got a lot of requests in the comment section to talk about the dark side of Virgo. So today's video is going to be about the bad side of the Virgo man. The bad side of the Virgo man. So ladies, get your pens, paper, get your pens and paper out. Take down some notes. You know, I'm going to try to leave timestamps um, in the video. I don't know, I might not. I'll try to do it. I'll go back and look at it. But uh, yeah, man, it's going to be real. You know, I'm a Virgo, by the way. So those who don't know, so I got a lot to say about Virgos. And also, man, make sure y'all like, like and subscribe to the page. You know, share it, all that good stuff. I'm trying to build this page, man, and, and get it in there. And also, um, some of the topics I'm going to be talking about on this page, of course, Zodiac signs, but I mean, when I talk about Zodiac signs, I mean to talk about Virgos and, my, and, our, and actual other people. Um, I'm going to talk a lot about relationships. Uh, relationship is a very beautiful topic of mine. I'm very passionate about relationships. So I'm going to be talking about that a lot. I'm not only going to be talking about zodiacs. I'll talk about race topics and stuff like that. Things that are going on in the world. You know. So um, tune in, man. I'm also a minister. You know. So I'm going to throw God in there. And I like to talk about African history. As it relates to the African diaspora. My people. But today, I'm going to talk about the, the, the bad side of the Virgo man. And we got some bad, we got some bad sides, man. We got, we got a bad side to us. And a lot of ladies probably can attest to this, but I think you will find this video very uh, informative. So let's get into it, man. The first topic I'm going to talk about is, uh, let me see. Um, I'm going to say embarrassment, man. Ladies. Virgo men, Virgos, period. But Virgo men hate being embarrassed. We hate being embarrassed. If you, as a woman, can't keep yourself together in public, you're going to see the worst Virgo in your life. Right? You're going to see the worst Virgo you've ever seen. Because we probably, most, oh, let, me, let, me, let me put a disclaimer too. The things that I say, I don't speak in absolutes. Right? So anything and everything I say doesn't apply to all Virgo men or everything, right? It applies to most. But there are exceptions to every rule. Every rule. So let's take that every grain of salt. Anyway, back to it. For example, we, well not for example, we, we pride ourselves on how we carry ourselves in public, our perception. Some people may say, Oh, how we how you can care about what other people think? You shouldn't care about what other people think. We do care about what other people think, right? We don't we don't care about what a random person thinks, but we like to control the narrative of our lives. Look at Beyonce. Look at Michael Jackson. Both of those are Virgos. They're perfectionists. They like to control the narrative. They know people are gonna talk to them, you know, but they put out what they like to put out, right? And they like to control the narrative. However. And so we are, you know, we are the same way. I'm the same way. Now, a Virgo man, ladies, if you with a Virgo man and you're not, you are in public misbehaving, I won't say misbehaving, but you out in public just, just acting a fool, loud, unkept, drinking, passing out, you're not going to keep that Virgo man too long. You're not going to keep him too long. Because it's, it's just embarrassing, man. You know, it's, it's embarrassing. I know one time I was dating a young lady and you know, we was around my friends, and, and she just started, she just started cussing and, and, and talking about sex and this and that. And I was like, <laughs> I was blown away. I was so angry. I was so, I was so angry. I was so angry because I don't, I don't, I don't talk about stuff like that out in, out in public and you know that type of thing. And if I do, it's gonna be, it's gonna be in a certain, it's gonna be with dignity, you know. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be classy. Man. It's gonna be together, unless I'm like my close, close friends. You know, and I, you know, I, I put it to the side like, yo, you, you know, we can't, we can't, we can't roll like that. You know, we can't, we can't. You know, uh, another incident. Um, 
I was dating a young lady, and me and all my friends, we was, we was out at a restaurant, and you know, and this was the first time, not the first time meeting her, but the first time we was all out together. And for some reason, she was just, she was unhappy about something. So I was trying, I was like, yo, what's, what's you all right? What's good with you, you know? And she, was, she just had a bad attitude, and it was rubbing off. Everybody could see it. You know, it was embarrassing to me because, you know, my friend, they look, they look at me in, in high esteem. Most people look at me in, in, in high regard. You know, so anything I'm involved in is of quality. You know what I'm saying? It's up here. And I had to pull, I had to pull it out of the restaurant. <laughs> I put the shit out of the restaurant. We walked out of it. So, so I know we live in a, 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 a politically correct society. We walked out of the restaurant. And um, I let it have it, man. I like, what's wrong with you? You embarrassed for my friends? I, I, I went off. I went off. I was, I was with it. I, I, I went off. So, ladies, do not embarrass a Virgo man, you know, because it's levels. To, to embarrass a Virgo man, or, or a man, period, but to embarrass a Virgo man, you liable to catch just, just about anything. He's gonna be, if you embarrass him, he's going to embarrass you. Like, just say, just say, y'all get into it. I pull up it somewhere, you know, like couples do sometimes. And you, you, you start to get loud, you say something really embarrassing. You know, he'll say any and everything to combat your embarrassment. I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be bad. It's going to be real bad, you know. And that's leading into my next thing. Sharp tongues. We have very, very, very sharp tongues. Very sharp tongues. It's very, when we get angry, we get mad. Again, I'm transitioning from, this is from embarrassing. That's, that's a good transition. Embarrassment will bring out our sharp tongues. Hurt, pain will bring out our sharp tongues. You undermining us or under. Undermining the Virgo man, <laughs> he shakes my head. You undermining the Virgo man will bring out that sharp tongue. You will bring it out, and it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt really bad. Um, that's a really bad thing though, because if, if what brings about the sharp tongue of Virgo man, some of the things I just said, just say y'all been in love or whatever, and you just start disrespecting him, or you're not listening to him, or you know. You trying to he trying to tell you something and you just straight embarrassing him. not embarrassing him but you straight undermining him and not caring about what he said like I don't care what you say I don't care how you feel this and that he'll take it we can take a lot we can take a lot you know but eventually that 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 pain gonna build up because most Virgos men have our feelings and stuff built up you know and it's gonna be a breaking point and when that breaking point comes it's the worst thing anybody ever experienced you know. He's gonna try to tear you down verbally. He's gonna be. He's gonna cut so deep that it, it, it's gonna feel physical. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna feel like, like did he cut me with a knife or or words? You know what I'm saying? Like for real, it's gonna be. It's gonna be really, really bad. You know, if 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 you hurt that man, you know, especially on like a breakup or something. You know, breakups are they can go ahead. And sometimes break up the man and the woman gets mad and the words get exchanged and. Burgos, we can't handle breakups. We don't handle breakups very well. I'm about to transition in that in a minute. I probably should do that first. Um, but yeah, it's those, those tongues, man. Those tongues. I remember I went through a, a couple breakups one time, and I was upset because the, 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 the chick, she just wasn't listening, man. She just wasn't listening to what I was trying to say. And I wasn't yelling. I was, I was, really, I was being real with her, pouring my heart out. I was trying to talk to her. I was trying to talk to her. And this, been a, this happened to like a, most of women. I was trying to talk. She just wasn't listening. It, it wasn't the fact that, you know, we was breaking up. It was that. It was the fact that she wasn't listening. And I felt like we had so much built up that we should be able to talk to each other. You know? And and it, it, the little things I was saying, she was just like throwing it back at me and like as if it didn't matter. You know? And eventually I hit, I hit a breaking point. You know, I know I was, I went off, man. I mean, I said, some of everything, <laughs> everything bad you can say to a woman. Stuff I'm ashamed to this day. You know, I'm ashamed because I, sh- I shouldn't have said those things. You know, but it came out. My 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 intention was to hurt her. That was my intention, man. Some of the things weren't even true. I was just I was just putting together putting together words because I was that hurt and angry. You know, but it takes a, it takes a Virgo man a long time, a very long time, to get to that level. 
before he gets to the level, he's gonna try. He might look. Let's let's just talk about it. Let's let's well, let's try this. Let's try that. Or let, you know, he gonna he gonna a Virgo patience. A Virgo has we have patience. That's one good thing about it. We have patience. But when that patience is broken, and you just broke through disrespect, hurt, and pain, you need to watch out. You need to let you need to let a Virgo man cool down because that that verbal attack is gonna be serious. It's gonna be serious. Some ladies know what I'm talking about. Some ladies gonna watch this video and be like, "Yo, you right." That's that's one bad thing about a Virgo man. Them, them sharp tongues, man. We already blunt. We already give it to you raw. You know. But them tongues, man, it's bad. I, I mean, I know I've said some things so bad that I, like I said, I still feel bad about it today. I had a, I had a, you know, prayer about it. I, like, I shouldn't have said that. I know, but you know, it happens, man. And I guess going to the next thing, breakups. Like I just said, we don't handle breakups well. Why? Because we feel like we invested so much into this thing. You know, and most times it's, it, we feel like break up over something stupid, unless we doing the breaking up. <laughs> you know, but uh, we don't handle breakups very well because we feel very, very hurt. You know, for whatever reason, um, we're gonna be, I guess, petty. We're gonna be vindictive. You know, we're gonna tell you about yourself. That's the most thing we're gonna do. We're gonna tell you about yourself. We're gonna tell you about all the things, you know, you've been doing wrong, that we've looked over, that we've. That we conveniently just you say you know what I'm gonna overlook that I love it we're gonna bring it back up we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna bring it back up and it's gonna happen we're gonna say it you know we're gonna put it in your face and we're gonna multiply it times twenty you know if you're making us feel real bad you know because we feel like you're not hearing us right um, and that's the worst thing to do to a Virgo I'm gonna go into my next time my next um, thing ignoring a Virgo. Woo. But let me let me before I go into you know on the Virgo, let me let me stay on the breakup for a minute. If you break if you breaking up with a Virgo, if y'all been in like deep love or whatever, I ain't talking about like no fruit months. I'm talking about something that's real deep. Just just be careful. I don't know, I don't, I don't think he's gonna hit you or nothing like that. I never hit a woman or nothing like that. What I'm talking about is like you know, if he if he if he's hurt on a certain level, he's gonna try his best to annihilate your heart, to annihilate your feelings. Mentally, emotionally, you know, maybe spiritually, it's, it's, it's coming out of pain. It's just coming out of pain and big man. Um, Cause we feel like this. We feel like this. Um, you know how a woman, most women, their bodies is, is, is you know, it's who they are. Like, ha let's, let's say having sex with a woman, she feel like she's giving herself to you, her most prized possession. And some guys take advantage of that. They have sex with a woman and just leave her and leave the woman hurt. Because the woman's like, yo, I gave you, there's nothing else more than me I can give you. You just use, use it. She's going to feel it really bad. So we feel like that with our time, our attention, and our expertise. Because we are, Virgo, we are healers, right? Virgo men, we are healers. And we like, to, we like to pour into our woman. We like to pour into her. We like to build her up. Anything and everything we can do for her, we like to do. We're going to try our best to do and so when that's disrespect that we feel like we gave you our best and we, you violated that, it, it, it's heartbreaking for us. So, yeah. The next thing, I might have to do a part two because I don't want this video to be too long. Um, the next thing, the next bad thing about a Virgo man is ignoring him. You know, please, 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 please don't ignore him. See, ignoring a Virgo man is like Undermining him. Like if he's trying to get your attention, he's trying to talk to you, and you just one one word texting him, you respond sometimes, you respond, maybe you don't. You might text him, like what you doing? And then he's like, no, nah, I'm just chilling, what's up? And you don't reply. <laughs> no it's building up in his mind, you know. Oh if, or if he's talking to you, you're not listening, you're not paying attention. He hates that, right? So it's, it's, it's going to cause him to be very negative towards you, very negative towards you, you know, because we're passionate about the stuff that we do. Everything we do, we're passionate about. And if you get, if you if you gotten to the point where you've, um, he's, you know, telling you his 
his goals and dreams and stuff like that. And then for him, it, it's hard for him already to get to that point with anybody. It takes us a long time to start trusting about what, what our goals and dreams. And then when we start to tell you, you know, you're looking in the, like dead in the headlights like, okay, well, you know, just say, let me use a random example. This is just a completely made up. Just say, you know what? Hey, baby, you know, I just got this, I just got this, this promotion I've been working for. I put my heart into it. They, and they finally picked me, you know, and, and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm buy this. I'm going to make sure these goals are in place. I'm going to save for this. I think I can do something with my life. What do you think about that? And your reply might be, oh, yeah, that's cool. I, I knew you was going to do it. Well, let me tell you about what happened at work. He gonna be like, to him, you just broke his heart. He ain't gonna, he not gonna say too much, but you just broke his heart. You know, because he probably wasn't gonna say nothing anyway. You know, and then it's not too many people that he talked to about that. And you're not giving him feedback. You, you ignore him. You know, so he, he, he gonna that right there just that just turn him off. You know, you're going to see a lot of bad things from him. You're going to see just, you know, he's not going to care no more, you know, because he know you can't handle what he's saying. He, he knows that you are not taking to an effect where he's going in life, what he's trying to do. Cause he picked you for a reason to support him. So don't even know Virgo. Uh, another, another bad side of Virgo, we need space. <laughs> space. <laughs> a Virgo man needs space. I know a lot of ladies don't like to hear that. We need space. Spell it out with me. It's S, you know, spelling it right? S P A C E, space. A Virgo man needs space. And I don't really know if that's a bad side, but why do we need space? Because we do so much thinking. We do so much internal analyzing of our feelings and our emotions that we have to sort it out in the world. It don't matter if we love you, you know, a thousand times to the moon and back, we still need our space. And if you don't give a Virgo man space, He's not gonna love you. He's not gonna like you. You're gonna, he's gonna, everything you do is gonna irritate him. You can be the baddest thing out there. I'm talking about looks wise. You can, you can, you know, you can be the most beautifulest chick, the baddest chick, the sexiest chick, the best personality. You know what I'm saying? Everything in his mind that he would check off for a woman, that his dream girl, you can be that. But if you don't get that man's space, you're gonna try to turn him. He's gonna, he gonna get fed up because. Our, our emotions build our, our mindset and our emotions our feelings our thoughts and spirituality it builds up in our lives we have so much going on internally anyway that we have to sort out because we we Virgo men Virgo's period but Virgo men we spend hours and hours and hours and hours thinking plotting and analyzing our lives and everything evolving in us and if you're there every day all day we can't sort that out because we're we trying to sort out our feelings with you you know we know we like you. We know we love you, but we got we have to we have to sort those things out, right? We, we have to have downtime, and if you interrupt that downtime, you're gonna see a negative man. He's not gonna love. He's not, you know, everything that builds a relationship is gonna go down. He's gonna be a, a, a tart. He's gonna be diluted. You know, you're gonna be unhappy as a woman. We need space. You need space. You need to give a regular man space. He he got to say something about it. He might be like, look, I just need some time for space. You know, I mean, I mean, a couple of times, you know, relationships. I know I need like a week. You know, I need a, like a week to myself. And I, I know women don't like that. I mean, I'm better now, but this was before. One time, you know, before I was, I had, I was by myself for a while. Then I had gotten to relationships, so I was accustomed to having that time because I'm in ministry, so I need extra time to. You know, um, sort out. We gotta sort it out, man. Cause during, but during that time, we're not just BSing. We're not really like texting other women, this and that. We we, we might like talk to our friends and stuff. But see, our friends don't require. We, our friends don't. Our friends don't require that love energy that a woman's require. You know, we we might need space from you, but you might see us hang with our friends, and you be like, yo, I thought you needed space, like I do. But these friends don't require me to be there every day. They don't require me to talk to them about their feelings. They don't require me to be on the phone all the time tonight. They're not living with me. You know what I'm saying? They're not there. You are there. And it's not a bad thing. It's not, it doesn't mean that he doesn't like you or love you. He just needs his space. All men need space anyway. You know, so you got to get that Virgo. If you don't give a Virgo man space, if you, 
you know, your relationship is going to go down a drain. So you got to learn how to adapt. Ladies, you got to learn how to adapt that. If, and if, if you dating a burger man right now and you up in his face every day, all day, you know, you need to, and you need, might need to reevaluate what's going on. And you might need, that's probably why some bad things are happening in your relationship because you're not giving him the space he needs to just be. You know, sometimes I, I, the space I need, I go, I go hiking or biking. I just go, I go sit by the lake. And I just, I'd be out there for hours just thinking. So I'm like, are you sad? I'm like, no, I'm just thinking. <laughs> you know, I'm just being me. I'm sorting it out. You know, and we have, we have, we need that. So get that man's space. Because if, if, if he don't have space, it's going to cause depression in him. It's going to cause anxiety in him. He's going to see everything negative. Everything negative is going to be wrong with you. You know, he's he, he going to resent you. That's what you don't want. He's going to resent you. Because you're all up in his face. Everything about you is going to be like, oh, why she here all the time? You know, because, as you know, you already bringing, you know, women are emotional. So you already bringing things you want in your life to him, which he don't mind. But we have to, re- we, we, need, we need time to recruit. And we just got to, so you got to figure out, if you're dating a Virgo man, you got to figure out his, the type of space he needs, you know, because everybody's an individual. So some, some, some Virgo man might need a day or an hour, some might need a week, you know what I'm saying? But just back off. Just back off. Just, just give him his space. And you'll have a, you, you get the most loving man you will ever dream of. Because he, he, he'll know that you appreciate his time. That's sacred to us. That space is sacred to us. You know, it is. Even if we just, even if we just need that space to just watch movies, you know, what I'm saying it's therapeutic. You know, some people, some people, um, use that space for different times. Some write, some read, some go running, some watch movies. You know, but it's it's a long time. You think about the think about the time that you need alone. When things get complicated in your life, boyfriend tripping, mama tripping, daddy tripping, friends grabbing at you, and think about the time you just want to be alone. You might. It's not even about what I'm doing alone. It's that I just need that time to be alone. Whether I'm eating popcorn, playing with cats, walking the dog, or I'm trying to figure out rocket science. We just need that time. Um, so I think I'm going to stop it right here because it's already 22 minutes. I'm going to do a part two. But um, give y'all time to analyze this. And again, man, follow your boy on Instagram. I'm going to have a link or a thing down below. Or whatever. And I'm gonna try to put some time things on this. Like, share, and subscribe. I can't say subscribe for some reason. But yeah, man, I'm trying to build this page up. And um, let me know something y'all want me to talk about, man. Because I'm gonna talk about relationships. Like, I'm gonna talk about relationships too. I'm very well versed on relationships. Again, I'm not a guru or anything. I'm not a life coach, relationship coach. I'm just a man who's learned some things. And I know it can help people. So yeah, man. This is part one. Part two gonna be sooner or later. Highland.